Hello everyone. This video would focus on segment bisector. Before we go over this slide right here, we remember that the word bisector comes from the root word bisect, which means to cut or divide into two equal parts. So pretty much if we say segment by sector, the segment was cut or divided into two equal pieces. And what are some of the segment by sectors? A point, a ray, a line, a line segment, or a plane can be a segment by sector if they intersect the segment at its midpoint. Now let's look at the first picture here. Since this segment right here, this is the first endpoint, this is the second endpoint, was cut into two equal pieces by this point, we can therefore say that this point is the segment bisector for this line segment. Now let's look at the next bisector. In this picture, we can see that this whole segment right here was cut into two pieces. So the first piece is the one on the left and the second piece is the one on the right. And the one that cuts this whole piece was a ray. So a ray can also be a segment by sector. Now let's move on to the next example. In this picture, this segment was cut again into two pieces. The tick marks tells us that. So that's the first piece and that is equal to the second piece. And the one that cuts it is a line segment. So a line segment is also a segment by sector. Now let's move on to another segment by sector. In this picture, this line segment was again cut into two pieces. This is the first piece and that's the second piece. The tick mark tells us that both pieces are equal and it was cut by the segment by sector in this case here is a line. Now let's move on to another segment by sector. In this picture, our, again, line segment was cut into two pieces. That's the first piece and that's the second piece. And both pieces are congruent. The tick marks tells us that. And this was actually cut by a plane. So a plane cuts this segment into two equal pieces at its midpoint. So then we can go ahead and say that the plane here is the segment by sector. So these are some of the segment by sector. A point a ray, a line segment, a line, or a plane. Again, all of these are intersecting the line segment at its midpoint, and so the segment was cut into two equal pieces. Now let's take some sample problems. In this problem, we are given line P bisect segment KL. So this segment KL was bisected. Remember, the, the word bisect means to cut or divide into two equal parts. So this means that even though if it's not labeled, we can go ahead and say that KM is congruent to that of ML. Because again, the word bisect means it was cut into two or divided into two equal pieces. So if ML is 21, it also means that this KM is also 21. So I can go ahead and write 21 for KM. Now let's move on to the next example. In this example, ray MP, so this ray right here bisects segment KL. So the KL is the whole thing. Again, remember the bisect means to cut or divide into two equal pieces. Since MP is the segment bisector, we can go ahead and say that KM is equal to ML. Now, since the whole thing is 86, this means that since it was cut or divided into two equal pieces. So we divide 86 by two and this gives us 43. This means that KM is 43 and ML is 43. So that if we add 43 and 43, that's 86. So that we can go ahead and label this as 43 up here for KM. And then the ML was 43. Now let's move on to the next example. 
So in this example, we are given that line P, so this line right here labeled as P, bisect segment KL. So this is segment KL and this line bisects segment KL. We remember that the word bisect means to cut or divide into two equal pieces. So this line actually divides this KL segment into two congruent parts so that we can go ahead and say that our KM is actually equal to, so that's the KM right there, is actually equal to ML. So that we go ahead and plug the values in. So our KM is 5X plus 17. So that's 5X plus 17 is equal to ML, which is 10X minus 3. And so we have to do the math to solve for X. That's the one that we're looking for. After doing the math, we are able to determine that our X value is 4. So I can go ahead and label that up here. So our X is 4. Now we wanted to solve for KM. So how long is K going to M given that it is 5X plus 17? So what are we going to do is we plug this X into the value of um, into this expression right here. So I can go ahead and show the work here. That's KM equals Again, that's 5x plus 17. I got that from there. So that is 5. I put a parenthesis plus 17. So then again, our x is 4. So I put it up here. So 5 times 4 is 20 plus 17. And so our km is 37. So I'm just going to go ahead and label that up here. km is 37. Now I will have to solve for ML, so that's the next uh, segment that we need to determine, and ML is equal to 10x minus 3. So I will do exactly the same step here. I will plug in the 4 to the x and solve for ML. As you can see, both KM and ML are equal, which is 37. And it makes sense because our line P again is the segment bisector, meaning KM is equal to ML. That's it. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!